Hello friends. Today I have come up with another video for SQL Q&A. But these are uh, this is related to employees, salary, and department scenario questions. Uh, so let's begin. Um, so the first question is SQL query to fetch average salary of all employees department wise from an employee table. So the answer here would be uh, select department ID average function for salary from employee group by department ID order by department ID. So see over here what we need to do. Uh, we need to fetch average salary for all employees department wise. So we need to identify the department ID and its average salary. So how it would be done with the help of average function with group by. So um, average function is something which returns a single value, right? Um, so here group by department ID. So for each department ID, the average salary would be fetched. Okay. And when we do select department ID and with average salary and order by over here department ID. So what will happen? Uh, it will show uh, department ID then its average salary. Let's say department ID is 10. Its average salary is 3500. Department ID 20. Its average salary is 4500. So this way it will be uh, 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 populated, right? Okay. So the next question. Um, Write an SQL query to find second highest salary in database table employee. So here we need to identify second highest salary. Okay, so over here we have used uh, subquery where um, select distinct salary from employee order by salary and in descending order what it will do it will print the distinct salary uh, that is it will uh, it will just list out the uh, the distinct salary from uh, from the employee table and it would be order by salary okay in descending order so what will happen it will list out from higher a uh, maximum to uh, minimum salary okay and from here, we have written like select minimum salary from whatever is fetched over here where row num is less than 3, right? So here we have the complete record from max to minimum and from this filter, we are trying to fetch where row num is less than 3. That will be two records, right? Topmost two records. And from that, we are selecting the minimum salary. That is the second record. And that is why we are able to fetch the second highest salary. Third question, um, write an SQL query to fetch employees data from an employee table that are from same city and country, right? So, uh, what we are trying to identify here is the employees which are from same city and country, right? So here, uh, we have done a kind of self-join employee with employee A with employee B, okay? Where um, employee ID from A is not equal to employee ID B and A dot city equals to b dot city and a dot country equals to b dot country and this is ordered by country wise okay so what we are fetching over here select b name from uh, this table uh, uh, with alias a uh, sorry with alias b and a dot name with alias a and then b dot city city b dot country country right 
Now the next question, write an SQL query to display employee details, its salary and total salary of its department from employee table, right? So here, what we need to uh, fetch employee details, salary and the total salary from each of its employees department as well, department wise, right? So here till here, we are able to extract the employee details and over here we have used some function salary and this is over function used um, in bracket we have written partition by department id now over function is actually providing a window to use a particular analytical function right uh, like here we are using some and uh, the over function we have is with partition by department ID. So we have a window for department wise uh, analytical function we can apply, right? So for department ID 10, we can apply this salary, uh, I mean, some function on department 10. Then department 20, we can apply some salary. So this is how we can extract the records department wise, right? Now here from employee and order by employee ID, right? So these are employee details and this is the sum uh, of uh, the total salary of its department, I mean employees department from employee and order by employee ID, like it, just the sequence of the employee ID that how are we going to print. So if you look at the output, so it's like uh, employee ID 100, st one department ID is 90 and Steven's salary is 24,000 but total sum is like 58,000. Why? Because we have three records under the same department. So this particular column will have the same uh, amount. Why? Because it it is the need of this particular scenario that it needs the total sum of its department as well. Right? Okay. Let's move on to the next question. SQL query to fetch top 10 employee details having maximum salary from employees table. Right? So here what we can do, select star from employee, order by salary descending. That is order by salary descending. So maximum salary would be on top and the minimum will be at the bottom. Order by salary dis descending and limit 10. So limit 10 would just restrict to 10 first, first 10 records, right? So with this limit 10 and salary descending, it will print out uh, the employee details with uh, 10 max salary, uh, top 10 employees with max salary, right? And the other way we can use, instead of limit 10, we can use top 10 over here, select top 10 star from employee order by salary descending okay so the next question sql query to fetch name of all employees who are also managers from the same employee table right so we need to identify all the employees who are also managers and we have the same table uh, same employee table so so what we can do is like we can use self join um, we need to match the records of employee id with manager id right so the first one is like uh, first option i mean we can use like this query select distinct e dot name from employee e and i join employee m employee e for employee employee m for manager on e dot employee id equals to m dot manager id right so what we are going to uh, over here we what we are doing is to match the records um, from the same employee table whose employee id is equals to manager id and we are displaying the name of all those employees right the other way is to uh, is uh, to use sub query where uh, we can use this query select manager id from employee so the, this is going to extract the manager ID and we just need to identify who all our employees with employee ID 
in this particular manager id range right i mean the values which are over here so select distinct name from employee where employee id n select manager id right so who the employees who are having the same manager id as well who are in manager id column as well so those are the employees who are managers as well the next question is SQL query to fetch all duplicate records from employee table without using primary key right so with using primary key it's very simple so without primary key how you can do that so here we are doing select name city manager count star just to represent the number of times the duplicate records are present right so select name city manager count star from employee table group by name city manager right we're not using any employee id or some other ids is having count star greater than one right since we have this group by functionality over here where we have used this three fields to find the duplicate record so it is going to count the basis of that and if this count goes um, uh, if it's more than one so that represents the grouping uh, with duplicate records so it can extract the records with duplicate records but this is going to show sometimes we have more than two duplicate records so this can represent the number of times the duplicate records are present in the table right so that's all we have in this video uh, i hope uh, this type of employee department salary scenario discussions will help you to answers in some of the interviews thank you so much and please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thank you so much bye bye